Hello, Pisces. This is your September 2019 reading. I'm hoping for a positive reading, but you know it may not resonate with everyone, but I do try to get as many of you as possible in your energy in here. But this is for Pisces. New energies, hopefully. Positive energies, hopefully, for Pisces. September 2019. Energies coming in for Pisces. September 2019. Full Celtic Cross. See what the beginning energy is. See what we can do. I'm hoping for a really good reading. I really am. Coming out of anxiety? That's good. You are still like experiencing a little, but you're coming out of it with the Nine of Swords in reverse. It's starting to turn around for you. Subject at hand, you may take even a little bit of a break after a while. Maybe um, in September, some of you may be thinking about relaxing a little bit more instead of um, diving into heavy work with the Nine of Wands in reverse. It's crossing it. Something has to end. You have to put an end to something first. I think something's going on but it also could be that some of you may be uh, leaving a certain type of work you had and that's why you're putting something on a back burner maybe you're saying I'm going into something else I'm not working on something that is a dead-end type of position for some of you others will be just trying to recuperate from something trying to Literally reinvent yourself in some ways. But you're not going to work terribly hard on whatever is going on at that time. Your goal or what crowns you is the Nine of Pentacles. You may feel like you don't have enough gain in your life with the Nine of Pentacles. Even though some of you need to, in a way, take a break and overcome burdens and stress. It's just you feel like, if I take and do this, will I have enough? Am I independent or financially independent enough to do so? So you'll be thinking about that. Uh, the foundation is the moon in reverse. This is uh, something comes out and you find out about it. Maybe that's why you put an end to something. And you're, I'm thinking you're going to start something new. You're, re you're almost reinventing yourself. And the reason is because something came out with the moon. Okay? In the past... You're dealing with the knight, uh, king of rods. I said knight of rods. But this is someone a little bit older of a fire sign, possibly. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But they're in a the past position. All I know is that they're in the upright. And they were there. But maybe you took a break from them or they took a break from you. I don't see them as being incredibly stubborn or anything. They're in the upright. But i got to clarify. Remember, when I clarify, I can change up the story drastically. So bear with me. Um... In the near future, you feel like you didn't get a victory with something. You feel like something, you didn't, you feel like you didn't succeed in something. And I got to clarify. Um, what's a uh, possible future outcome or advice from the universe is the two of wands. You have two options. And you'll want to keep both of them open. That's what you're going to be thinking. But eventually you will have to choose between the better of the two. It's like you're holding on for a safety net, but you're going to have to let that safety net to transform, okay? What is coming towards you is something quick, something fast, so it's definitely going to happen in September. It's not going to go past that. Something coming towards you. Sometimes people say it's a vehicle. It can be, but something else is coming towards you. It could be, maybe it's that fire energy. I don't know, but it's definitely coming quickly, whatever it is, and we will clarify. Hopes and fears, maybe you're hoping for strength, more energy, and maybe you feel that. That could be that some of you um, may have had surgery, because that has something to do with someone um, resting and recuperating, and they, they transform to better health. Believe it or not, the um, ending card there, the death card, is not a terrible card. It means that something had to end that needed to end, and you needed to transform and make yourself feel better. Even though it may have been unpleasant, you did it. Now you're seeking strength. You're hoping for more strength. But again, again, we got to clarify. In the end, 
Ace of Swords in reverse. So you may not speak your truth, or you may hold back on what you're saying, but you got something coming towards you. I'm wondering what the chariot is. But like I said, you got the you're coming to have anxiety and you know as starting energy. And you got that nine of wands in reverse and you know the death card crossing it. So I need another card. Nine of wands, death card as a subject at hand. Why are you there for Pisces in September? Your messages stopped and halted. You may have stopped talking to somebody. Nine of Wands, Death Card, Eight of Wands, in reverse, why are you there? For Pisces. Chariot. And now you're moving forward with something, possibly. Yeah, you may have moved your way yourself away from this situation. It's time for a change in your life that is a much needed change. Now, you're a little worried about it because maybe if you left a job or uh, a situation, whatever it is, relationships or whatever, you think you may not have enough or be able to afford something. So that is the Nine of Pentacles. This was crowning you or your goal. You're, tr you're thinking about um, value, what, what is going to sustain you in the future. So Nine of Pentacles in reverse while you're there for Pisces. That's what crowns them or their goal. Yeah, you're feeling like you don't have enough money with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. It's all feelings. Something else is coming in, though. It's quickly, but you got to find out. Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, both in reverse while you're there. As what crowns Pisces are their goal. Yeah, and you're not happy. You feel like you didn't get wish fulfillment. You feel like you didn't get wish fulfillment. You're like, how am I going to get everything I want? Like I said, a few of you, you may have had surgery, but very few. Now, the foundation, the moon, in reverse, something comes out you find out about. Why are you there? The moon in reverse for the foundation of Pisces. What is going on? Queen of Swords. Oof. Dealing with the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Maybe they said something about you. Maybe they said, you know, told somebody your secrets, or maybe... Something came out about the Queen of Swords. Can I get another card for the Moon card in reverse and the Queen of Swords in reverse while you're there for Pisces as a foundation? This is why you're doing everything. And you're, you're wanting better things to come in. It, I'm thinking someone kind of messed you over a little too. And some of you, like I said, may have lost a job, position, money of somehow. And maybe you weren't expecting, you didn't see it. But someone cut you out. And the reason why they may have cut you out for some of you that they were wait, wanting other things to come in or something else was changing within um, the area or the situation you were in, maybe like a job, maybe something changed. But it also could be that you put a stop to something because you're transforming yourself for something better, even though you're a little worried about how you're going to do it. Now, in the past, you were dealing with the King of Rods. This could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. As you know, I do not assign one sign to a court card when we're reading for the general mass. You know, the mass is out there. It's just too many people. So the King of Rods in the upright, why are you there? For Pisces in the past. And remember, the past may have not come yet because it's for September. Oh, did the King of Rods stab you in the back? Or did you stab the King of Rods in the back? Or do you feel betrayed by the King of Rods? You may be feel betrayed by the King of Rods. It shows him in the upright, little gnat over here. So the King of Rods in the upright, Ten of Swords in the upright. Why are you there in the past for Pisces? Yeah, you got a message. Maybe you sent a message. Or this could be you, actually, a page. Could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in the upright, but someone, or maybe both of you feel stabbed in the back by the Queen of Swords. Maybe somebody uh, messed a couple of people over and somebody you know also. But, or you, like I said, some of you will feel like the King of Rods or whatever st stabbed you in the back, but I don't, I don't know. Leave it in the comments. I see the Queen of Swords definitely um, wielding her sword there. So, for, for a lot of you, somebody had messed over somebody you liked to or somebody you worked with, somebody you're with. Now, in the near future, you feel like you didn't get a very, you know, success in whatever you were doing. So, or a victory. So, Six of Wands in reverse while you're there. 
for Pisces in the very near future. Something else is coming your way. Yeah, and you're not going to argue about it. You're not fighting. And also, for some of you, you need to get out more and be more competitive in whatever field you're in because it shows that you're not doing that with the Five of Wands in reverse. That's a competitive card. They call it strife, and it, it is in some way. But the real arguments are with the Five of Swords. The Five of Wands, it's more like it can be bickering or going up against people, but it's like the Five of Wands is almost like competition, and you're like... You're kind of down. You're kind of down, but and you're thinking, you know, I'm not going to regain my success because I had to cut something out, and now you got to go elsewhere. So, the six of uh, the six of wands, five of wands, both in reverse in the very near future. Why are you there? Yeah, you got to make a conscious choice. Some of you be dealing with a boss or or um, someone that rules over everybody in some way. Someone a little bit controlling, but they're in the upright. And it could be for some of you, you need to take on this energy and get in control of the situation. Because even though this happened, and it's kind of like, you know, this is for Pisces that lost something that held them up, you know, financially in some ways or their stability. And other people were involved. And I see them having, tr you're having trouble knowing what to do next. But the ships are coming in. I see the ships coming in. You're wanting to do something else. And I also see the chariot. I see the chariot twice. The major arcana. So it's pretty much rock solid. Now, let's go back over to here. The possible future outcome and advice from the universe. Universe says make a conscious choice. Don't hold on to the past or things that no longer serve you or hold you up. Don't be afraid to let go and grab onto something else that's more prosperous for you. But the two of wands making a choice, you know, a conscious choice to do something. Two of Wands in the upright, why are you there? For Pisces. Yeah, I see where this is going. Yeah. You have to make a choice between, you know, what you're wanting and what is holding you back. Could be a King of Wands energy, because it's over there, but here they're reversed, so if you make a choice, maybe you're afraid that they'll be a little put out. And they might be, but that's okay. It's Aries Leo Sagittarius for some of you or someone that's a little bit older with a short temper and you have to make conscious decision. The universe says, you know, choose where you want to go. But it's like you feel like you're not going to have enough if you don't choose the right way. So the two of wands in the upright, king of wands in reverse while you're there for Pisces. Yeah. You may have to deliver a message stating that you can't do something with somebody that you must choose another route to be successful because you are feeling like wherever you were, it, you're not going to get no gain unless you do. You know, you've got to make a conscious choice. You're not going to like delivering the message or whatever. Or maybe the King of Wands will deliver this message to you, but this is Pisces reading. It's mostly Pisces going to make a decision, okay? And what is coming towards you, the outside environment, things are moving pretty quickly in September. So the chariot in the upright, why you're there is the outside environment or what is coming towards Pisces. What's going on? Page of Pentacles, or no, no, excuse me. We already had a Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. Something is moving towards you, something steady. I, usually it's a slow energy, but with the chariot there, I would have to disagree this time. And that trumps over, the chariot trumps over the Knight of Pentacles. But maybe something more secure is headed your way. Someone's going to offer you possibly something more stable for your life, for your finances, for your overall health, too. So the chariot in the upright, knight of pentacles in the upright, why are you there? For Pisces, it also could be them telling you make a quick decision. Don't dawdle too long with the nine of wands in reverse. Didn't we have that earlier? Don't dawdle too long on your decision making because they're going to expect an answer, okay? Now, your hopes and fears, you're going to wonder if you're strong enough for it all. The strength in the upright, why are you there? For Pisces, and the hopes and fears and manifestations, why are you there? The moon, some of you may be feeling really down. Maybe you're afraid of hidden things. Maybe you're just afraid with the moon. The strength card, the moon, both in the upright, why are you there? Together. And the hopes and fears and manifestations. 
Ace of Cups. You're afraid you're not going to like whatever you're, you're, that's been given to you. And as I'm seeing someone make you an offer. Like I said, they're saying don't dawdle. But I see the universe saying you better make a conscious choice whether or not um, you feel comfortable with it because you need to survive in whatever you need to do. You need to recover from whatever. Something came out and you felt betrayed or people felt betrayed around you. But something, like I said, else is coming in. And sometimes the universe works that way. It cuts things out and it seems really cruel and miserable and you worry. And then something else comes in. It's almost like a blessing in disguise. So I think in the end, you're, something's going to get cut out and you're going to be having to make a choice by cutting something out and continuing with something else. But I need another card to know for sure. So Ace of Swords in reverse while you're there for Pisces in the very end. Or you're afraid to speak your truth. Yeah, with the with the King of Swords. Didn't we, we have the Queen over here? It's pretty much the same energy except for it's supposed to be feminine and the masculine. But the King of Swords can be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. So yeah, you're going to have a, make, a, a conscious choice because someone's going to cut you out or you're going to have to cut something else out just so you can survive you know in life and there's nothing wrong with um surviving it's something you have to do if, if you're having a tough decision to make make the decision that is going to help you in the long run because you got to help yourself before you can be there for anyone else you got to recover yourself you got to come out of anxiety yourself you know so yep yep with the king of swords and an Knight of Wands. Yeah, I felt that there was more than just, you know, one person here. The Knight of Wands could be also um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And now more I look at this, I see you having to make the next step in your life to do what you need to do. Because you, you're feeling like it's not successful and you're going to have to take control. For some of you, you may be cut out of a job. For others, you may quit a job. Or this could be school. This could be whatever. Life in general. And something else is going to make you an offer. But they're not going to wait too long for you to say something. For you to do something about it. A choice needs to be made. And, and even if someone else doesn't like the message you got to give to go forward in your life, you need to do it and you need to regain strength. You, your, you, your health depends on your um, mental stability and, and, your, and your health in general when it comes to finances relies on that. And you may be not knowing what to do and you may try to hide it for a little bit, but it's going to come out and you're kind of afraid you know, to say what you need to say. But in the end, it looks like you will. And you may even take a little bit of a break in between, even though this person's telling you not to wait too long. There may be a little bit of a few days there where you can rest and go on vacation and take a break from the anxiety here because it says you're coming out of anxiety. And when someone has this card, they're taking a rest from anxiety. They're overcoming anxiety. They need it. So some of you will be cutting something out. You'll be worried about your finances when you do, or you're doing it because of your finances and something else is coming in. But you need to make a decision. Some of you will make that decision. Others may say, we're right where you're at, and it's not really a good thing. Okay? So this is your reading, and I'm going to let this go, and I will upload it as soon as possible. And I will be giving you another reading um, for mid-September. And if I had time, I will try to get in bonus readings, but I'm getting a little behind on that. And I, I'm trying to get everybody in, you know, their full readings. So I will talk to you later, and I'll upload this as soon as I can. Bye.